Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. 15 days left in the season, but uh, we're right at the end of the season and we still are talking about some areas that we have to watch. Now, just as a reminder, this time of the year, the, the area that we kind of focus in on is across the central and the western Caribbean. And what a lot of the time happens, you get these areas of low pressure or you get these fronts that work their way down and kind of hang out down to our south. You get these areas of low pressure that form and then they just ride up those boundaries up to the north and east. So take a look at where we're looking right now right down in these areas, the central, the southern, the southwestern Caribbean. <laughs> That's right in the focal area right now. Now we have this broad area of low pressure. We've been watching this for several days. The actual area is sitting down here and notice you got this arrow kind of pointing up into this development area. So that means in the short term, really not expecting to see something happen. That means over the next day or so. But this is going to work its way to the north and as it moves up into this area, that's where conditions they're they're marginally favorable that we could see some development. Now compared to yesterday, it is a bit more disorganized, but we're still seeing quite a bit of convection down there and computer models are still at least hinting that this will take some time, but this could develop and then eventually work its way to the north into the northeast. Now at this point, it's really debatable. Do we, if, if it develops, do we get something that is a tropical depression or a subtropical system? And I can tell you some of the models really aren't all that bullish on this becoming necessarily something tropical. Another area that we're watching, and this is somewhat associated with all the, the weather that's been going on over Florida with, with the, the clouds and all the rain. We've got this area low pressure across the Gulf of Mexico. This is just going to continue to meander, but what happens is we're watching another area that looks like it's going to be forming just off the coastline of Florida as we head into probably tomorrow, uh, if not tomorrow, at least by Friday, and then it works its way up towards the Bahamas and starts to work its way towards the north. Now, at this point, it does look like that will be a non-tropical low basically with a frontal boundary with it. So it's a, it's a cold core system. It's not a tropical system, which is a warm core system. And then that will be working its way to the north. But what it's going to do, it is going to bring some pretty windy weather along the east coast and also quite a bit of rain as this works its way up the coastline already. We're seeing a lot of this rain working its way through portions of Florida. So there you see all the weather over Florida. We're looking down across the Caribbean as well. Now, as I put this into motion, you see what happens. You get this first area developing that starts to slide to the north, and then you're seeing more development down across the Caribbean as well. This will be working its way to the north, but you notice by the look at this, it looks more like a comma, so this is more indicative of a frontal type system, a cold core system, a non tropical system. So that's what we'll be kind of watching as we head into the weekend. Do we get more of a, a frontal system, but still a lot of heavy rain and some gusty winds that will help to increase some of the winds back over Florida as well, but it would not be something tropical and that other area would start to race on towards the north and east as well, just along the eastern coast of the US. So we're going to watch both of these areas and we'll keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com.